Whew, man, it's hot, and all I did was turn the car around. But that is just going to look so much better. So, really, everything under here is solid as can be. The only rust I have on this entire car, there's one spot on the bottom of the spender where that trim used to be. Now, I've already been under the other trims. There's no more rust. But the spender, i got to fix at the bottom just a little bit. And the battery tray has rotted out so i need to do something about that as well but everything else is fine you can see the car used to be this bronze and they uh painted the fenders but they didn't paint that part they just did uh, around the corner which is normal for some people but make a special probably anyway i'll probably take some black and when i touch everything up and i'll go ahead and hit all the bronze stuff up around top and everywhere but my goal right now is the things that just do not work anyway we're gonna go ahead like I said we're gonna check the air conditioner see if there's any pressure I'm gonna do that right now if I can find a screwdriver or something to push the thing in with right. I don't know if I can do this one-handed or don't try this at home ladies and gentlemen but if it has pressure after all this time that's always a good thing, but the heat, too. Feels like it might be some. Are you ever kidding me? Come on, really? Am I that unsteady-handed? Oh, that's not doing nothing. Where's the other one? That's nah, bone dry. That one pushes in. Nothing happens. Just a little oil coming out. So, I won't waste some time with it. It'll get removed. At least the lines will. I don't know about the condenser. It's not really in my way. It's just kind of ugly. And when you're trying to change like spark plugs and stuff, it could be nice to not have there. So, we'll see. We'll see how far I get with all that. All right. It is too hot right now. I'm just going to tell you, it's too hot right now for me. But I did manage to get the battery disconnected and this one bar off. <laughs> Before I give up and go in the house. So, all right, guys. We got the air conditioner off there. Um, it's already getting dark on me now. Can't really see good. That already is looking so much more roomy in there. It looks like a big mess, especially on this camera right now. I doubt you can see what I'm looking at, but anyway. So, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this radiator on out of here so we can flush it as well. I think I'm going to go ahead and start taking off whatever's not necessary up here. I had to wait until it got almost dark just so I can take the heat out here. It's just so bad. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. So anyway, let me try to get this bottom radiator hose loose without making a huge mess. Take the transmission lines off the radiator as well. Pull that out. And then I can take the shroud out afterwards because I don't want to take the fan off. I don't need to take the fan off. I'm not going to go through that unless I have to. But if I take the radiator out, I can just move the shroud out of my way. And then when I put it back together, put it back in. All right, guys. Well, it's dark. But I have got a little bit accomplished. Uh, one of the best things I've done so far is this radiator flush. Um, tomorrow when it's daylight, we'll definitely go over and clean it a lot more. But it's got nice clean water coming out. I flushed this thing so good. I got radiator flush in the house. I'm actually going to run it through it as well. All right. Here's that brand of degreaser I've got this time. Instead of the good shit that shoots out like I should have got... But this shoots foam. It's fine, but it doesn't do what it what you think it's gonna do. Yeah, I don't really. I sprayed a plastic container over there and was not impressed with what happened. Sure, looks great when you're doing it. But I'm kind of 
to be honest, I'm really more into the other stuff that's going to get painted later, in a way, because it will help the paint stick, hopefully. We're going to do it all, so. See how far we get. Keep it upright, shake it, all that good stuff. It can't hurt to, you don't want to degrease too much because then you get a squeaky old front end and everything, right? Get in there, tune, tune. I should be more into just the engine, but oh well. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, all I got is a regular old hose right now because it blew the end off and we're just going to do what we can do. I'm not too worried about a lot. Yeah, I can see a difference in a little bit of it. Oops, I got my phone wet, but that's okay. I think it's allowed to. All right, let me get in here and clean it a little bit better with some both hands real quick. Well, all right. I think she's a little bit cleaner, actually. Surprised. It doesn't work like the stuff that I normally buy, the good stuff that has the high pressure and whips it off there. But it did help. I'll give it that. Back here in the back, she was caked in there really thick. So, hey, it'll be just a little less on my hands. So, all right, now. I went ahead and got me a mark right here. I kind of went around that whole thing. And you really can't see. I don't know what you can see with the sun on there. There we go. But I lined it up with this top. God, I can't see the camera to tell if I'm getting anything. I lined it up with the top of that distributor perfectly. Long ways, you can see. And when you got a long ruler like this, you know, when you do just a tiny little movement, you're going to get a degree or two, so that's going to help a lot as long as we can get it back to the same spot there. It will at least fire off, and I can go by ear a little bit more from there because I don't have a timing light. That's another reason I'm doing this is to, without a timing light or nothing, I should be able to still get it right where it was. And then maybe I'll adjust to get a little more pep out of it after the fact. But uh, now i got to take the cap off and show you what we're going to do under there. All right. So we got the mark for where the cap's going to line out perfect. We know which way the vacuum goes on it. You know. So my rotor button. Well it's pointing directly. I got a mark now. What I did. I took this long ratchet. Because I mean I know I can get it close anyway. But for just for precision this. I got it to where now where you go in. It's lining straight up across there and it goes to that mark I got there but even without that mark it goes right into the corner of the plastic and the pipe where the heater core comes out it's basically pointing right at the corner where they come together so sorry if it's blurring up now that might not be the correct way to do things it's how I do things and it's the easy way to do things so now that as long as this motor does not get turned over period there's no battery in it Nobody's going to come over here and turn it by hand. So, all right, here's where we're at, guys. As you can tell, we did a lot of cleaning up somewhat. I didn't paint the inner fenders completely because they're in good shape. I just got to clean them. But I painted down low where some surface rust was started and over here where the battery box is rotted out. Did all the stuff that is not painted, like the bronze old color that wasn't painted when they did the car. And then cleaned up up there, obviously up on the firewall some nothing too much because i didn't want it to look like i should spray painted everything under the car like i did but i didn't do the exhaust none of that it's just gonna burn off anyway It'd be a waste of time and then you gotta smell it 
So, I just got done cleaning up all the surfaces for gaskets. Vacuumed everything out really good. And it's time. Uh, my intake and everything should still be clean from last time on the bottom. I want to clean my valve covers with some steel wool before they go on. Um, so, as you can see, we got all my gaskets, I hope. Got Permatex. Um, I might go around the water ports with just a tiny bit on the intake like that everybody else does. And I'm probably not going to use the rubber pieces for gasket. We're going to make our own. By doing so, I'll probably have to let the car sit a little longer to set up. But it's hot enough outside. That won't take long. Um, and, yeah, that's where we're at. Well, all right, y'all. Looks like a bomb literally blew up under my carport. But that's okay. It's worth it. I spent a few days working on this thing after work and stuff, or in between the heat rush. I spent quite a bit of time on it yesterday, getting it back together. Everything went together pretty good. I hope I got a good fat bead of caulk underneath the intake there. I, I put a nice fat bead, but it was so hot yesterday, it was kind of melting down as it went. But I didn't even start it till the next day, so I'm sure that's fine. I drove it to the store earlier. It's not running the best. I need to adjust this carburetor and make sure the timing's right. My uh, modular valve to the transmission was not shifting on its own. I had to do it myself, which means it either came unhooked again on the bottom or I don't have it ran to a good vacuum. We're going to have to run it to this other side. Not a big deal. My throttle cable, I don't have proper connections for this throttle cable, so we got some wire tie just temporarily to make sure it's running right which again i've already drove it to the store so she is running just not great yet i gotta get it tuned so as far as the timing goes though the way i did it not turning that engine over just put that rotor button facing right where you know so when you put it back you can get it the same mark your distributor cap dead on somehow like i did I took that like four foot ruler or whatever it was, marking stick, measuring stick. And I outlined it here and had it lined up exactly how I knew with my own eye how it was lined up straight with that. And when I put it back in, I lined it up, she fired right off. No issue. No spitting and sputtering and backfiring. The timing is basically right where it was. Now I might advance it a little bit as we go here. I don't know yet. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get it fired up. We have to let it warm up. I don't have a choke connected at all. I mean, I got it just shut by hand right now. It has a manual choke hookup, so I'm going to go ahead and try to find me a manual choke to put on here. I'm on with a cable. Take it off my lawnmower, I guess. <laughs> it's like, anyway, damn, my tooth hurts. Let me go ahead and fire it up so it can warm up. Let's see if she'll just start without no gas, nothing. Nice, nice. <laughs> Until I hit that gas and rev it once, she sounds like she's got a cam right now. I like that sound. That carburetor and intake sure is changing it. Sounds good, but when I went down the road earlier, it wasn't so much, so might be better now. I think I could idle it even down a touch, but... You can tell it's doing its own thing still. It's not quite right. We're gonna try to get the air mixture right. So, all right, I let it warm up for a little bit. And also I stopped for a minute. I went ahead and I, I took my air idle screws out 
clean them off really good, put them back in, tighten them all the way back in. And then I backed them out two turns each, both of them. I've seen a video where that was your standard setting starting point. So I done that, and right off the bat it runs pretty good. But uh, I don't have a vacuum um, gauge to show me the vacuum, but I can do it by ear pretty good. But I need to make sure there's no other vacuums that are not working. Look at Johnny standing out here like he's waiting on somebody. Let's see if I do burn out. <laughs> First time ever I've tried one. Hell yeah. So alright, now I need to get my mess cleaned up, but uh She's still not running right. I need to tune the carburetor some more. I should do it some more now while it's warm, but I really don't feel like it, to be honest. Um, I turned in about the two screws, but then I backed it off to about one and three quarter. I think I need to open it back up to the uh, two turns at least. I'd like to get a vacuum on it, but I also need to get a timing light on it. Maybe do a, maybe advance it a little bit, but uh, it's got a little hesitation and stuff, but it's going to be okay. i got to get the bugs worked out, but I'm not, not complaining. I'm very happy about it. So We do got it looking better. We got it sounding good. And it did a burnout for the first time in my driveway. It usually won't. <laughs> Had smoke roaring, so just a little burnout. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I'll get back on to an RC video next. So please like, subscribe, share, comment, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.